Welcome back, folks, to some more Stone Shard. We are back with Anna, the knight. I'm going to be storing one of my vivifying essences here. I don't think it's we don't have to run around with two, especially now that we have uh, a potion of healing as well, that we are keeping in inventory. So we will store one vivifying essence so I don't have to pay for a new one if we lose the first. Or use the first, I should say. In this episode, we are going to uh, deliberately fail a quest in order to keep a uh, necklace that we found, this phylactery, which is significantly better than the one I have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it on the ground here and I go to the village elder and say, Okay, you don't have any other quests. Oh, I, I can't, like, say I found the necromancer and killed him, but I didn't find the phylactery. But I can just order a new quest. And we will. And then if I look in the journal, we now have both of them active. And this one runs out in four days. Same as the other one. But this one we will then go and complete. It won't even take four days, but I'm not sure. We'll keep the phylactery around, at least for that time. There. All right. Uh, so let's track this here. Mysterious glow, indeed. You up here? What are you selling? Enchantment scrolls on mass. Let's see what we can sell. Some trade goods. Teeth. The Maybe I go and store the pearl necklace just in case we have to deliver the phylactery in order to uh, win the uh, early access version of the game here. It might be that it wants me to complete that quest. But I'm not sure what happens when a... Okay, so let's just see. He will pay 43 for an iron ingot. I'm sure that the uh, smith might pay more for an iron ingot. Surely. Surely. 43 to the smith's... 43. Okay. The same. And the weapons will be more and more here. We have a better sword than any of these things. But this was some really nice loot. Very good. Then, oh, we have gold that is not. Oh, we are too rich. The purse is full. So, but look at this: four thousand seven hundred for this hound skull basket. Battle axe. A short sword. Uh, you don't have a better sword for sale. What about plated gloves? 3,300. 8,000 for this knightly armor. With 11 protection. This is what I want. Look at the... Let's look at the stats here. Dodge chance load by 17%. You stop dodging altogether. Uh, so... Then energy restoration is lowered by 5% uh, and energy altogether is lowered by 15. But 11 protection to 4 is quite a, an increase. It has lowered fire resistance because it has a damper on underneath and lowered shock resistance because of all the metal. That's interesting. But really good slashing resistance, piercing resistance. You, add, you have to add the resistances on top of the protection values. I'm sure that goes first. And then the protection will uh, tank for you after the fact. But I think we should get boots first. I'm, I've been wondering about uh, the body parts. Boots don't cover the legs, but... We don't have, like, pants, so you would think that high boots is the protection that is on the legs. Maybe protection is just for the whole body. If I look in here, a protection is just stacked. Okay, I see. I thought, in my mind, 
since we have body part uh, disparity, a sectioned body part, whatever you want to call it, uh, I thought that the individual protection items would go on the specific body parts when they are hit. But apparently you just stack all the protection values together and then you deal the damage after the fact. That's fine. We will go and store the pearl necklace. And then I think, because I'm not going to buy another purse. What I'm going to do is say use and empty our purse here. Shift clicking makes it relatively easy. And now I really hope that my theory that chests always keep your loot <laughs> is true. We will take a hundred, three hundred, five hundred, four hundred and run around with, but store the rest in the tavern's chest and hope that no one goes and steals it. That would be very bad. So while we are in town, we need to drink the well and fill the water skin. Stock up on metal supplies as per usual. Gotta buy arrows. Two splints. Uh, we have a bandage. We have two healing cells. Yeah. I like the herbalist in Boshbu better, but I'll take it. Buy some cheese. Some potatoes. Uh, carpenter. Let's just check with the carpenter. Oh, we, we should repair as well. He's got the shields. Heater shield. It's not a bad item. But again, these are better. All of them are also super expensive. We could buy like a kite shield. A knightly shield is for protection. Joust shield. Rider shield and long shield, which is the more expensive one? 1600. 1600. Really? So I can afford like the knightly shield. What is the difference? The fire resistance is the same. Knockback resistance is increased by 5%. Pluck chance goes up by 6. Pluck power up by 2. Lower dodge chance. We're not dodging, so that doesn't matter. Energy and energy restoration is the same. Oh, so no penalties except for the dodge chance. But bonuses abound. You know, maybe we just invest in the night shield. That would also justify getting a uh, an enchantment scroll for it. The kite shield is cheaper. Why is this one not better? Because of the durability? Wait, what? It's like half the price. It lowers energy by more and energy restoration. I see. But at like half the price. The long shield has more block chance and block power than the kite shield. Wait, what? Same knockback resistance. Oh, I'm looking at the heater shield on my on over here. We are comparing this shield to this shield. Sorry. This has more energy loss and energy restoration loss, but higher block chance. No, how higher block power? Not much higher, but it is cheaper. But the energy and energy restoration is important, since I am running out of it in combat. Kite shield 
is worse than the knightly shield. So the, it's either the long shield, the rider shield has less protection, so I'm not inclined to use that at all. The kite shield, we've determined that that is way bigger. It protects the entire body, but takes a toll on maneuverability. And then sometimes a knight need to fight on foot. This shield is perfect choice for such scenarios. Oh, and dew mods and stuff. That is for another time. I want to buy arrows. That's one thing. And then I think we will go and get our gold again and just buy a knightly shield. Let's get a knightly shield. So the whole thing about storing money was not necessary. And then we can justify go and buying a uh, going and buying an enchantment scroll right away to enchant the shield. That's how we do it. That's cool. So we got an equipment upgrade anyway. And we did get the phylactery as well that we need to repair. What can you repair for me? Nothing. Okay. Sell the heater shield. Buy oh, the knightly shield first. Ooh. Okay, that was really expensive. I see. Um, maybe we scope. Oh, but look at that. That's why I chose this shield because, it, like, I the kite shield. But look at this little knightly shield. Yeah. Awesome. All right, then. Uh, where do we go? Uh, do I go for the enchantment scroll? What's the question? 240. We have stocked up of everything else. Oh, I need to repair the phylactery. Hold up. Oh. Oh, the apprentice has the cloth items back in uh, Manchire then. A royal ranger gambeson. Has more protection than my armor. Crazy. Okay. You're the one that can repair cloth items. And then the smith deals with the metal items. Oh, 271. We are low on gold then. This will have to wait. Okay, no enchantment scroll right now. That's fine. Where do we go? We are going down to Mossy Vault. So, off we go with a new and shiny shield. Awesome. And it must be made of wood, since it was at the carpenters. But it kind of looks metal-ish, so I'll, I'll accept it. I'm in fact getting sort of hungry in real life, so it's very fitting. But we'll finish the episode, and then I'll take a break. I think this is the quest that kills Jonah. Or was that a random bandit camp? I forget. It might have been the quests that came after this one, because it was not a crypt that killed Jonah, it was bandits. Kill the Necromancer finds the source of light. Search for traps. We heard the skeleton. Oh. 
Oh, this might be the first time we enter combat with multiple enemies for a long, long time. Ow. But I finished one of them off right away. And there we go. Easy peasy. Uh, let's not loot yet. We'll do it on the way out. Silver Aquamarine Ring. Oh. Uh, shock resistance and cooldown relation, reduce, uh, duration lowered. Uh, it gives health restoration, healing efficiency, and fortitude. Fortitude. I forget what that is. Reduces duration of negative if status effects you receive. I see. Uh, compared to the silver topaz ring, maybe stun resistance though, and pain resistance is really nice. And the other one is even better. And unholy resistance is important when we are against the undead. Cool ring, but we have better stuff already. An undefined shield. Of course, we find magic shields now. We're gonna find magic shields for the rest of the game. Game likes to mock me. Ah, it's a bad boy. Honestly, since it's this uh, specific shield, this is the round shield. Or oaken shield, I forget which one, but it's the one of the bad ones. So I don't even think, even if you identify it, it's not gonna be worth selling. Like, it's going to be worth less than an identification scroll costs. So, switch back, shield up, shield bash. Oh, he hit me. How dare you? Oh, he exploded. Nice. A lot of the animations in this game are very satisfied. The screen shake as well. You feel the crits. We aren't coming back this way, but this one's pretty broken. Oh, this is a watchman sword, but it's super broken as well. In fact, this one's worth more. Yeah. Get out the bow, check the traps. Enemy. Well, we got a hit on him. Good enough. Felling axe. Super broke. Oaken shield. Yeah, see, that's the one we found the magical version of, and it's completely worthless. Okay, not a lot of loot here. On to the next floor. Let's go in here. The arrows up here. Let's just oh, rest up. Never mind. Eat. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna get full energy. You never know. What lurks beneath? Okay, check the traps. Oh. Alarm! Alarm! Battle Cleaver. 
broken. Oh, we've got another of these altars. The last time we broke one of these altars, it uh, dazed... I think that must have been it. It dazed the enemies in the same dungeon. So we're gonna do it again. But I sort of I'm holding out for it. Stop throwing spells at me. Drink and uh, rest. Boo. Traps. Kill. Enemy. I think we do more damage with the shield now. At least it feels like it. That's also something. Consider. Okay. So here, let's rest up. Traps, we found one over here. A skeleton archer. Let him come and open the door. Silly skeleton fell falling into my trap. This trap, you don't get experience or anything from them, so no reason to take the risk. How are we doing on leveling? We are getting close. Get out the bow, rest up a bit to get the energy back. Oh, oh. <laughs> Pick up a bone. Nothing? Alright. So now I will destroy the altar on the way down to the next floor here. Oh. Okay. Ah, no, I clicked it instead. I meant to right click. Alright, now we have a buff. Let's make good use of it. I think there's no yeah, enemies here. Push on while we have a buff. Do check for traps though. We'll loot on the way back. There's a trap. Okay, multiple enemies here. Nice crit. Another hit and another hit. Lucky. Ah, uh, wait with that one. Another magical shield. Here's a chest, but we will take it on the way back. Okay, run while we have a buff. We're gonna push on. I know we had an enemy there, but I wanna try if we can get lucky and run into the boss right now, that would be cool. Eighty turns. Is 
70 turns with buff. Fifty turns ish with buff. I don't think he's here. It's blind or dead end. Nothing here. It must be in Helen. Ten turns, eighteen turns. Okay, no boss, but we found a knight at least. So let's fight him. That's the end of the buff. So let's start looting again. 47. War shield. Oh. Ah, come on. Drink. Drink! <sighs> Father Ted. Those that get that reference. You have good taste. Oh, oh. What are you? A skeleton guard. Alright, let's put up the shield. to be a problem. Oh, I think we found the necromancer. Eat something here. Yeah, we did. Okay. Oh, crap. Is this Anna. Uh, sh this time he's casting spells at us. Frail. Lowered fortitude, max health, and damage taken is increased. Cursed. All right, he still got resurrection and unholy blessing, which means that he might not engage if I wait for him. I think we gotta dive. Do I pop anything before we go in? No. Let's go for him. Facing him is nice. Uh, we are out of energy. I'm considering drinking the potion of energy here. We will level up on this fight. Oh, we should have killed one more other enemy just to level before the boss. That would have been nice. Is that an enchantment scroll? No, it isn't enchantment scroll. Okay. Um, can we beat him as it is without abilities? Yeah. Oh, he crit me. Ow. How's our sanity doing? Good, and morale is high, so we are, have a chance of proccing the second wind very soon here. Which one of these abilities costs more energy? This one costs 10, this is 16. Cannot do both, so either the increased damage or the block. And since he does spells every once in a while, I don't think the block necessarily is that good. And the attack was the right play. Good. Let's get a vitality this time. Maybe even two. To balance out our loss of energy all the time. When we run out of energy like this, it's kind of bad. Alright, we beat the boss. So the danger should be over. Another unidentified potion. Is the source of light. It is a... What happens if... Yeah, we destroy it. Okay, claim the reward. Alright, good. Uh, we still have a skill to put up. I don't know what we're going for now. I think I wanted to dive into swords. I've never really done a proper sword build. Cleaving strike into keeping distance Retreats a tile back. If the next turn the empty tile is occupied by an enemy, perform an attack with extra damage and a bleed chance. 
Okay, that's pretty cool. Not very knightly. Then we have an onrush. So now we can charge. Rushes towards the enemy and strikes with bonus damage and armor penetration. Attack receives lowered bleeding resistance and damage taken for four turns. And then we can get later gloat. Sword attacks have extra crit chance and weapon damage for each bleeding affecting the target. Mm. With all the undead and they can't bleed, it's kind of iffy. If we went into shields, we could get breakthrough. Shield bashes all enemies on three adjacent tiles, dealing some damage and has chances of knockback to all enemies. Hit reduces the cooldown duration for the skill by two. We don't need to lower cooldown durations because we cannot uh, do more skills. We are out of energy. Well, we just balance that with more vitality, so maybe it's okay. But I think we want to take the charge ability, because that's cool. High energy usage. A passive would be nice. That is true. Honed ed edge is specifically only bleed chance. And then stacking bleed, which is fine for human and everything except undead and... Do undead pose the biggest threat? Not necessarily, but let's get the onrush because it's a cool thing. All right. And now we will clear the dungeon of loot. Oh, a magic ring of the a version of a ring that we already have. All right. No, I did take this chest. Okay. Check the traps. Do 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 do. Golden tooth. Yes, please. Down here we still have an enemy trying to push through to us. <laughs> oh poor mage and his no melee damage. <laughs> Should have charged him just to try out the ability. Check for traps, because you never know. Okay. Good stuff. Oh. This loops back around. Get back up here. We ran through here before. And in here, there's a trap on the floor that we can avoid. An undefined shield. Hmm. I mean, it would probably be worth more than the other one. already checked this equipment here so can combine the arrows 
the bad cleaver here is super damaged. But whatever. Let's take it and leave it. 22 or 29. Okay. Uh, this battle cleaver here might be worth more. Nine. And the crude falcon. 33. Okay, whatever. Let's see if there's some ghouls around. That we can smite. Oh, I should have charged it. Alright, we got bleeding from him. Okay. Any other ghouls? Come on, give me some experience points. No? Only one ghoul? No, no. Alright, let's try charging this one. Cool. Increased weapon damage. Add armor penetration and lowers his bleeding resistance. And this one has increased bleed chance. He's already bleeding. Splat. Oh, he retreated provoking attack of opportunity. I don't think I've ever seen an enemy retreat and provoke an attack of opportunity before. That's a first. So it's going to be a bit of a shorter episode, but when we come back to town, there's not really anything to do but to go to sleep, I think. Well, it's actually becoming morning right now, so it might be okay. But then I'm not going to be able to go on another quest at the moment, I think. Wait, am I lost? Um, the road here leads into Manchire, I think. Yes. Oh, wait, everyone's just waking up as I come back. All right. We'll sleep for one hour, though. Uh, and I do need to end the episode, because I am starving and thirsty IRL. And I have to manage those stats, too. So, let's just buy it for one day despite paying 30 for one hour being kind of sad <laughs> let me through he says mm -hmm. anything that we want to store just in charm and scroll maybe or later down the line uh, I, mean, I don't know if we can buy uh, ident identification scrolls for all of these things but we'll find out next episode so sleep in here and then that's it for this time thank you folks for watching and see you next time bye, -bye.